Jeffrey Howells carpet cleaning here. We're gonna be doing ourselves some premium RV cleaning today. Let's just take a quick walk through what we got to do here. Um, it looks pretty basic. I mean, it's a nice blue and it's a very synthetic carpeting and it doesn't look like there's a whole lot. Um, look at this. Tile in an RV, nice. So we've got a bed, back bedroom area to clean up. And then um, the front cab area that you saw when we first came in. So it's going to be a very straightforward clean. We also have a little bit of uh, mold treatment that we're going to be doing in another vehicle here. So I'm um, going to be using the Commercial Magic by Backway because it is very good on synthetic fibers. And that's pretty much all that you find inside of vehicles and motorhomes and things like that is uh, synthetic carpeting. Except for when you go to upholstery, you might run into some cotton and some other variations. So, but usually even those are all synthetic as well. But um, just got to use your common sense, look around what needs to be done. And that's what we're going to be doing today, you guys. Have any questions or comments, leave them in the space below. This is our, uh, I think, fifth or sixth RV at this particular lot. So, uh, they're, it's a pretty cool gig we got going on here. So before we get started with the RV, we are looking at another vehicle right now for some mold treatment. We're going to put an enzyme cleaner on it for right now and let it sit and dwell as we are cleaning, doing the RV. And then we'll come back, clean this up, and then we'll post treat it with another treatment of uh, enzyme cleaner that will just sit and digest and stuff while we're not here. So just like peroxide continues to work after you're gone, it can work as long as it's still wet and it hasn't completely evaporated all the time. It can just keep working and working and working until it's evaporated. So um, the same is true pretty much with an enzyme. An enzyme will just keep digesting stuff until there's nothing left to digest and then it'll just, it'll keep doing that until it's either evaporated or until uh, everything is digested out of it, the carpeting or upholstery or whatever you're treating. But as you can see, there is mold all over the place. I guess it's on all the chairs and everything. I mean, you can see it all over. So this is going to be an interesting clean. I don't see it so much down. Well, I guess I do see it a little bit down in the carpeting. So we are going to treat the, the areas that we see mold pretty heavily. You can see it all over the seats, all over there, and all over the place. So we're going to treat it. We're going to agitate using a uh, Home Depot special We've got going on here. Give it a good agitation, let it dwell, and we'll move right along and then come back and give it an extraction. All right, so what we've done is we've gone through and we've treated everything with an enzyme cleaner. Um, it looks like I missed one spot spot there but um, the enzyme has been put all over this and I agitated and most of the the mold came off but the enzyme will continue eating away at the mold that is still there obviously and simply take out everything all in one application um, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of close this up and let it sit and dwell in here as we are finishing up with the other RV but if you can see all the nasty black over there is out. Um, I'm gonna apply a little bit. I did apply some on the uh, the seat belts. I'll apply a little bit more, and then on that area up there in front. And then after we do our extraction, we're gonna be using the sodium carbonate with some peroxide just to get a good clean in here. And then we will post treat with another uh, mist with the enzyme cleaner just to uh, good purpose. You know, you know. Um, just to post treat it and give it a good uh, final eating away with the enzyme. All right, so I think this is somewhat no noteworthy. Uh, this vehicle here we just acquired, or you know that we're cleaning up as well. Just got added to the docket. Um, it is smells heavily of dog oil. So what we went ahead and done is instead of using a back out product on here, we use a product by Steamway, um, which is a, a pet deodorizer enzyme so we're just going to pre-treat it and let it sit in here and then we'll go back through and steam clean it out here a little bit after we get done with the RV. Okay, so the back area turned out great. 
we apply commercial magic we uh, actually use a, a brush to go back here because it's a little too narrow and on the walls and stuff and then we let it dwell for a few minutes and then we extracted 220 degree water and it turned out very well so this was open I went ahead and I treated this I'm just letting it dwell for a couple minutes um, and then I'm just going to go back through and hit it up with a wand in the big areas and then in the smaller top and chair areas where we obviously can't get a wand down there. I'll apply our Mighty Light, Mighty Air Light, I believe is what it's called. Um, again, it's plastic. you got to watch out for, uh, it does have a glide on it, but um, wow, I picked up a lot of loose fiber already. But um... I hit a nail or something rough on doing some stairways and you just take some fine sandpaper and sand that down so that when you're doing upholstery it's not pulling and rubbing on anything. In fact some of that that might be in there could be due to the roughness there. It's not really going to cause any damage at this point but it is kind of annoying because I just took this thing apart and cleaned it all out and now it needs to be taken apart and cleaned out again. All right, so I'm cleaning up these area mats out here that were inside the back of the vehicle. And you see that nasty orange blue that's holding down that sticker in the back there? The other one is the sticker's pretty well intact and covering up that nasty orange blue. But on this one, I'm just gonna pull it off and apply a citrus salt, and that will dissolve the glue. And then we will use a pepper shark that we have here it has nice little serrated edges and after that soy solvent citrus solvent sits on there for about 30 seconds we can just uh run that across there and it'll break that glue right off the carpet let me go ahead and put it on there and i will show you some after results here in a moment so we've applied the citrus soy product down there and we took our pepper shark and we ran it across there the serrated edge, and you can see that I just chewed it all up. So now we're going to go back through and we're going to extract it out now. Now, be sure to keep in mind that any time you use a system solvent like this, it is very heavy and residue. So you want to make sure that you use a good cleaner. I use a sputter that I uh, took up back away as a commercial magic, and I hit it up real good. Let it sit in there for a few seconds, hit it with a brush. I agitate it and then I extract it out real heavily. So that right now it's really nice and clean. And you can see all that, that blue residue and everything broke out absolutely beautifully and came right out. Alright, so we're finishing up. We just post-treated this and as you can see all of the mold is pretty much taken care of. There were a couple little spots where, uh, you know, seat belts and stuff where we just post-treated again. It's just going to have to eat away at it there's really nothing you can do with seat belts except put an enzyme on and then kind of scrub it with a uh, uh, uh agitate it with a brush but you can see that everything else around here turned out absolutely beautiful and then we move along here it's a dodge got over here um it did smell of animal we used an animal enzyme just to uh, get rid of the dog smell and then we put commercial magic down just now and agitated and now we are going to go back through and we are going to extract all this and by the time that we're done it's going to look really good and smell good and the customers are going to be happy so one turns into two turns into three turns into four and i'm just going to keep working as long as there are things to clean so what we got here um quite a bit of debris in here actually um, I'm going to try to get by without a vacuum. I think the, uh, my hose, the truck should be able to pick it all up, but pretty small, tight area. Get it, this all cleaned up and looking good. We'll go through, I'll just run the hose along the edge to pick all this debris up and catch it in the waste the filter basket in the truck. And so this will be a pretty straightforward clean. Um, don't have any electric set up at the, the time being, so uh, what I'm going to use is just a, a spray bottle. I need to get a uh, chandelier that has those, those pump sprayers. Little, looks like probably maybe half gallon. 
or a quarter gallon or something. Perfect. You don't have to deal with this. Um, I had a bunch of them. The problem is that they, the, I think that the ones that I were using were pretty problematic. Because um, the hand, uh, they were great, but then the, the seal would eventually get chewed away by the chemical inside, and then the, or the handle would break. And the handle breaks, you can't push the plunger down to pump it up anymore. Um, so anyways, we're just going to go through, give this a quick go over with Commercial Magic, get it cleaned up. We're going to have to use a poster tool from probably all the way back there, all the way to here, and then finish up using our wand because the area is a little bit bigger. And we might even just use the upholstery tool for the whole thing so that we don't have to switch out our tools. Alright, so I did it a quick go over and it looks absolutely wonderful. Got all that debris up. The front area here was pretty dirty with dirt and everything so we were able to extract it. And that's the one thing that's nice about having a clear upholstery tool or a clear piece of tooling is that you can see when the, the dirt stops coming up so you have an idea of when you got it all. And so we have a mystery spot right here, that blue. Um, it looks like it lightened up a little bit but um, didn't respond to POG or any of my other normal spotters. So what I'm going to do is I've got the stain exit by Chemspec here. And basically, chemically, this is exactly the same as Pro's Choice Stain 1. So I'm going to spray it on and leave it. It's sort of a pray and spray method. Um, most of the time, for any of your mystery stuff that doesn't seem to react to anything else, this is a last resort. It seems to work very well. So um, you can already see that, that even since I've been talking, it looks like that's even lightened up more. So I'm going to give it a treatment and call it good.